Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to find a solution to this geometry question in which we are asked to find angle D, which X represent. Looking at this diagram, you see we have a straight line in which two other triangles lie on. We have the first triangle ABC, we have the other triangle DBC. And a smaller triangle is formed between the two triangles. So now let us first of all consider this triangle ABC. Let me make a sketch of that. So this is an exterior angle of this triangle ABC. You know, all angles inside are said to be interior and the one outside is said to be exterior. And this angle refers to this Y and Y together. Why we have Y and Y? Because this angle and this angle are exactly the same. So the two of them making two Y. This angle here from the question is 40 degrees. And this other one is the combination of these two. You can see we have this 48 and this 48 that comprises of this angle right here. If you join them together, you of 10, 96 degrees. It is one of the laws of a triangle that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. This is interior, this is the two opposite angles. If you add them together, you must get this 2y. So we have 2y to be equal to 40 degrees plus 96 degrees. 2y will be equal to 136 degrees. We are looking for the value of y, so we can divide both sides by 2. Dividing this by 2, we have only y. And to the right, if you divide 136 by 2, you shall obtain um, 68 degrees. If y is equal to 68 degrees, we can write this one as 68 degrees. Let me write it very small here. Observe carefully that this is also an exterior angle of this triangle. You see, apart from this big triangle, we can form another one here. Look at it here. From here, upward. This is an exterior angle of this triangle, as well as this other one. Look at it here. Upward. The same thing, if you want to find this angle, you can sum this into the opposite angles together. 40, 48, making 88. So this angle right here is 88 degrees. But our main target is to find the value of x. And you can see we already obtained the value of y. So we can add them together and they must equate to 88. This means that y plus x is equal to 88. But y has been obtained to be 68 degrees plus x. And this is equal to 88 degrees. If you take 68 to the right, it becomes negative finally x is equal to 88 minus 68 and x is equal to 20 because 88 minus 68 is equal to 20 and hence x is equal to 20 degrees and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye